ओके गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट टूडे स्टार्ट टॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स एज वी नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द एनिमल्स आर बेसिकली डिपेंड ऑन द प्लांट एंड अदर फूड प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक फ्लैश एटसेट्रा एंड इफ आई आस्क अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ द एनिमल विल गेट द फूड तो वी हैव वन कॉमन आंसर दैट animals will get food mainly from the plants or they can be a herbivorous if they eat the plant and they can be a carnivorous if they eat the flesh of the other animals but sometime other kind of nutrition also shown that some of the animals suck the blood from the body for example leech female mosquito etc and sometimes some animals use as a parasite mode of nutrition it means they are just suck the liquid from the body of the host so today we'll discuss about the nutrition in animals and especially the developed animals today we'll discuss about the nutrition in the developed animals uh, as we know that first what is the definition of nutrition uh, we know that a simple concept that we eat the food and uh, what is the food you simply know that what is the definition of food if i deal about the definition of food we know that food is a combination of seven different nutrients we have carbohydrate we all are aware about the carbohydrate that protein fat vitamins minerals roughs and water these are the seven major component of the food items and if i deal about the major energy nutrients so these three the first three are known as a major nutrients these three are known as a major nutrients and why we are calling them major nutrients because these are very important inside the food because they provide us the energy if i deal about the functioning of carbohydrate protein and fat these three are very important for our body in the respect of energy views right and rest four these rest four are not the energy giving compound they are basically a essential part of body working these are the essential part of body functioning right then if i discuss about the how the nutrition will take place inside the body of an animal uh, this is a simple process that nutrition simply a process by which body will get energy from the required food then uh, discuss about the students uh, what is the mode of nutrition in animals if i deal about the different modes of nutrition if i deal about different mode of nutrition so first i will start that there is animal can be a herbivorous animal can be herbivorous which eat the grass eat plant products right we have simply imagination of a herbivorous animals as we show, as we see that around us are different kind of animals like cow goat buffalo camel these all are the kind of animals that eat the grass they eat the plants products like leaves of the plants and other kind of system and then uh, simply i ask again a question that what's the other kind of mode of nutrition for the animals if the animals eat the flesh of the other animals they can be a carnivorous they can be a carnivorous if i deal about the carnivorous animal which eat the flesh of other animals which eat the flesh of other animals which is the flesh of other animals so these two are the major description of the animals herbivorous and carnivorous beside this the animals can be of omnivorous also omnivorous the omnivorous organism can eat both plant product as well as flesh plant product as well as the flesh right then 
the different kind of motor nutrition that's the animals sometimes you see that some animals suck the blood this motor nutrition is known as sanguinivorous and we know that the animals suck the blood like leech which suck the blood which suck the blood sometimes we have a bite of mosquito in our body and this is a simple example of sanguinivorous animals which suck the blood from the host body so the blood from host body then but deal about the type of animals which suck the blood we have common example when we move to uh, beyond the uh, our home to the bank of the river we have a leech which uh, attach with our body and suck the blood we in our homes we have mosquitoes these mosquitoes also suck the blood from our body so these simple three four kind of uh, organism which perform the different kind of motor nutrition and these four are very important sometimes some animals eat the fruits sometimes some animals eat other kind of uh, modes uh, other kind of food like uh, sometimes some uh, animals uh, are the host on the body these are the parasites mode of nutrition let's move about that what is the uh, steps of nutrition if i deal about the steps of nutrition whenever food comes inside the body what will happen to the food so second we will deal about the major steps of the nutrition steps of the nutrition major steps of the nutrition when the food comes inside the body we know simply that when our food we are getting from the source it can be a plant it can be a animal the steps of nutrition first i deal about the intake of food this is a simple process of intaking of food it's just to get the food inside the body to get the food inside the body by the process of intake we get the food and after intaking the food the process which is very important the major part of the nutrition is that digestion what is the digestion process in this process of digestion we know that simply the three major nutrients which i have earlier discussed that carbohydrate protein and fat they move inside the body and they will be digested inside the body by our body enzymes so first we discuss about that how the digestion process will take place we know that whenever we take the food the food in be a uh, complex form we know that the carbohydrate is a kind of complex material carbohydrate protein and fat so these three are the major nutrients of our food whenever we get the food what happen inside the food the molecule of the nutrients will convert the large molecule this is the large molecule of the food large molecule which will convert in small molecules of food which will convert in small molecules of the food this is a process of digestion the process of digestion then if i deal about what happened to these molecules if i simply discuss about that the, if i deal about carbohydrate whenever we get the carbohydrate whenever we get carbohydrate this carbohydrate will convert simply in molecule of glucose whenever we get protein this protein will convert in a molecule of amino acid this convert in amino acid then if you get the fat will convert in two molecules simply known as the molecule of fatty acid plus glycerol right so this this is simple process of digestion which happen inside the body of an animal then move to the next topic that uh, when when digestion take place the second step that's the first step in take then digestion after the digestion the process which is again a very important role that's simply known as the absorption of the material that's known as the absorption what is the absorption to absorb the nutrients for the further use to absorb the nutrients to absorb the nutrients simply in an animal this very important process that if the digestion will take place the digested nutrients should be absorbed to the body and this simple process is known as the absorption of the food 
After absorption, we know that the nutrients are not only required by the absorbed part, it will be required by the entire body. So it should be circulated to the each and every cell, each and every part of the body, each and every segment of the body. We require that if uh, we get coal from the coal mines. So coal mines is the source of coal. So coal is not a use for that particular area. It should be circulated to the each and every part of the world. So simple process that whenever we get the nutrients, it, nutrients will move to the each and every part of the body. And this simple process is known as assimilation. Assimilation. It's a simple process to circulate the food. Simple process to circulate the nutrients. Simple process to circulate the nutrients. Then, after the assimilation, what will happen? Whenever food has been circulated to the every part of the body, this circulated part, this circulated nutrients will further be used by the body. After the assimilation, the remaining food waste will be released from the body, and this simple process is known as ejection. So, we can simply say that ejection is a process to expel out to expel out the food waste food waste from the so these are the five major part of the nutrition first if you move from the first side the first which is very important that intake to get the food inside digestion to digest the food materials then after the digestion is very important again that's the absorption. After the absorption, that is the assimilation. After the assimilation, that is the ejection. These five are the major steps of the digestion. Then we move to the process of digestion and entire system, entire working of the process of nutrition inside the animal's body. And if I deal about the animals like uh, humans and other kind of developed animals, if I deal about the nutrition process, they have a two important working part for the nutrition. So I can say, simply say that the major part of nutrition inside the human. Major part of nutrition. First, that is the alimentary canal. Second, these are the digestive gland. If first I deal about the elementary canal, what is the elementary canal? Elementary canal uh, is a kind of pipe which is the site of digestion inside the humans. Like that, if I start from the mouth and till the anus, mouth till the anus, this is the entire pipe which is the known which is known as the elementary. So this is the simple elementary canal. Start up from the mouth and move till the Anus. From mouth to the anus, there is a pipe which working like the site of nutrition is termed as the alimentary canal. Then discuss about the digestive gland. What is digestive gland? If I deal about the digestive gland, second part, digestive gland. These are the gland which are basically secrete the enzymes for the digestion. Secrete the enzyme for the digestion. We simply know that uh, what are the enzymes. If I deal about the definition of enzymes, enzymes are the kind of product which help in the functioning of the reaction. Simply know that enzymes are the kind of agent which increase the rate of reaction and these are used by our body. So these enzymes are basically formed of proteins. And these enzymes are very much important inside our body for the digestion of the food particle. Then move over the, about the elementary canal structure for the human being. If I deal about the structure of elementary canal. Structure of elementary canal. It starts from the mouth and it moves till the anus. If I draw the diagram of elementary canal. Inside the human body, it starts from the mouth. It starts from the mouth. This is the elementary canal. Then it moves here. Then here. 
it moves to the next part which is again a very important play which again a very important part this is the bag like structure which is known as the stomach then stomach moves to the a coiled part this coiled part is basically termed as a small intestine system is small intestine then small intestine move to another important part which is further term as a large intestine this large intestine is a coiled part and it will extend to a part which is term as the so this is our elementary canal if i label the each and every part this is the first part from mouth we know that this is esophagus or also known as a food pipe then we have stomach this is the stomach then we have small intestine the small intestine divided into three part first duodenum second the middle one which is termed as jejunum and the final one that's termed as a ileum these three are the part of small intestine it's been termed as a small then move to the large intestine large intestine start from first colon then rectum this is the rectum part and the final one that's the this is the anus first part second part and third part large intestine so this is a simple structure of the human elementary can start from the mouth then is of anus food pipe stomach duodenum jejunum ileum it's part of small intestine then move to the large intestine large intestine is divided into three part colon rectum then then if i deal about the uh, vestigial organ inside the body we know that we all are evolved from the monkey so inside the monkey they have a part this one this part this part is a kind of part which is termed as cecum and from the cecum there is a tube like structure originated this tube is known as the appendix in our body appendix is a vestigial organ because it is being used for the digestion of cellulose and basically cellulose is a part of plant cell wall this cell wall is basically formed of cellulose and cellulose is a kind of sugar but we cannot digest the cellulose because we don't have a working bacteria inside our body because cellulose has been digested by a bacteria but simply we know that appendix is not working inside the body so whenever we cut the appendix from our body it will not create any problem but inside our ancestors like monkey chimpanzee apes gorilla orangutan these all have a working appendix because they have to digest the cellulose because they are basically depend on the plant leaves plant products so this is the simple structure of our elementary canal let's move uh, about the gland which is termed as a digestive gland 